Yeah, like this is all so new. Do I? Do I? Repeat this block across the whole blanket and maybe switch out the colours or do I just switch out the block entirely? In terms of plans and updates, my I Heart Granny Square collection, the update for that is going to be launched in two to three weeks time. That's like my first official commission where I've done it like seriously, taken a, a deposit up front. I could do that. Hey team, welcome back to HD Designs Crochet, HDDC. I'm Heather and this is my channel all about the granny square, motherhood and finances. I am, I am, <laughs> I have the leftovers of a cold which unfortunately has altered my voice. Um, so apologies because I know a lot of you come here because you like how calming my voice is. I, yeah, it's just hanging on to me and it's not gone yet. I have a classic sit down vlog with you today. I'm going to show you my current whips and a few things that I'm working on and some of my plans and all of that good stuff. I even have a, a hot a drink, a warm drink. I'm not a tea or a coffee kind of person. I'm just not a tea or coffee kind of lover. However, I have warm juice. I've drank a lot of it. It is orange squash. So you might call it cordial or I'm not sure what you call it. Let me know what you call it below. I have to put a picture on the screen so you know what I mean. Um, but I've got a hot drink because Teddy is taking a nap at the moment. We've been to our sign language class. I drove home and he was asleep in the back of the car. So I was debating whether to transfer him into the house. He does transfer pretty well on the whole. However, I then knew that because I wanted to record and he would be next door. Basically, I'm in my mind, I'm like, protect the nap, protect the nap. Make sure he gets the decent sleep because last night was awful. And Brad said he would swap with me. So they're currently sat in my car whilst Teddy finishes his his nap whilst Teddy finishes his finishes his <laughs> ah why are you being like this they're sat in the car whilst Teddy finishes his nap which means that I can have a hot drink normally I drink my warm juice in a flask when Teddy's around like a cup to go type thing you know what I mean that has a lid so that he can't get to it so I get to enjoy an actual warm drink in an actual mug and I get to drink it while it's like properly hot. Ah, oh, bliss! So grab yourself a cup of something and let's crochet. Hmm. I'm going to jump right in with what I am working on. I've got two or three main projects. The first one is here in this wool warehouse um organza bag i think most of us own one of these now i am part way through my very nearly finished i was so very nearly finished the my arrival blanket this one is entirely out of pinks and yellows and a bit of lilac and peach and it is gorgeous look at that it's gorgeous this is a commission so slight change to my income streams for hddc i have started handmade by hddc I get a lot of requests for baby blankets, baby outfits, adult blankets and other bits and pieces. So I have decided that I'm going to make my patterns and sell them um, for whoever it is that wants them. It tends to be family, friends and like extended people that know of my family. Um, so this one is for a family member. I'm not going to say the connection because it's a surprise but yeah um I love it I absolutely love it and 
I've created like a whole document which I now send to people and they get to choose um, which, de which design, which colors, they get to pick the name, like they can tell me the baby name and I will personalize it. Um, all my pricing is set out, everything. And I'm actually really enjoying it because this is quite a mindless project. So it's something I can pick up and crochet on in the evenings and I'm getting paid to do it. So that's really cool. Um, does anybody want me to talk about the pricing element? Like maybe I'll do that in its own section. I've priced them. I'm quite happy with the prices. Yeah, I can go into that into a whole section. Um, however, I made a boo-boo with this one. A big boo-boo. <sighs> Let's talk about the yarn first. This is double knit yarn. I use acrylic yarn, which is perfect for baby blankets because it's so washable, it's hypoallergenic, and I have a lot of it. I have just dove in, sorry about the tinging, it's my stitch marker. I have the white gummy bear on here, I will link them below for you. I have made loads of two round granny squares that are using pinks and some pretty neutrals some lilacs and peaches there's a tiny splash of gray quite a bit of yellow and all of the different shades um all different brands some of them are glittery can you see um i've got glitter white i've got about four different shades of glitter pink and then I'm joining it with a glitter pink yarn this yarn actually came from the pound shop and it's super super soft um I bought loads of it and you might remember I made a curtain out of this quite some time ago um and I've got quite a bit left over and so I'm making a arrival baby blanket and I'm making a matching cardigan with the same yarn and the same color scheme and then both will have the baby's name on eventually once we know what the baby's name is as i said this is my arrival pattern i designed this pattern i designed the blanket for my own son when i was like 37 weeks pregnant and since then i have made i made teddies then i made um one for cove one for nova one for ophelia and I also made another one, which is a sample that I used in my photo shoot for the pattern. Um, so this one is now on the works and the blanket is 13 by 11 squares. And usually I start, I do 11 squares and I do 13 rows. But for whatever reason, I chose to do 13 squares by 11 rows. So rather than going that way, I'm working my way up. I've gone like that so sort of side to side which was fine until I realized that because I've given them the option to personalize the blanket I want to put the name at the bottom which would have been fine if I'd started uh, width ways because I would have just turned it around so the second to last row I'm going to put the name and I'm going to make those squares um purely out of the joining color so that when i put the name on it will really pop only i've already done oh. Oh. basically i have to undo all of this to put the name where i want to put it ah oh. so annoyed because it's so close this just needs two more rows in the border and obviously all of the ends. Um, so I actually started again this morning. I'm not too bothered because it takes me about half an hour or so to do each row. But obviously I'm doing this and I'm being paid. So I don't want it to take too long and I've got to redo the whole thing. So that's definitely something that I have learned for future arrivals. So I have started my yarn's getting pulled out started it again and it's fine because I would just pull the squares from this um I've done the bottom row and then as I said I'm adding in the blank squares um because I don't know the baby's name 
Um, I wanted to get all of the blanket done and then add the name on last minute. Originally, I was going to leave enough squares. So say the name was like Teddy, I would leave five blank squares. Instead, I've decided that I'm going to just do a normal granny square either end and then put the all the rest of the squares on that row. So nine squares will be blank. And then I'll just arrange the name in the center of that space. So if they have a long name or a short name, whatever, I will put it in that space. And then that means that I can make the whole blanket, weave all the ends in, do the border. And then I've just got to wait till we know what the baby's name is. And then I can get that done. Otherwise, I'd have to leave the blanket semi unfinished so that I could add in the last row, the last two rows in the border. I'm not feeling that. I can hear Al be moving about and thinking, is that because he knows that Brad's on his way in? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm a little bit annoyed. So this was on row nine of 11, and now I'm on row two of 13. However, this was on row five last yesterday. I did a row whilst we were out visiting family. I did a row whilst in between like cooking dinner and cleaning up and then I sat and did another couple of rows in the evening so I can easily make the time up and I have learnt for next time. Ay 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 I have learnt for next time. The cardigan will be, let me show you, I have made this pattern I will put uh, the name of it on the screen and link below because it's not my pattern, but it's um, got granny squares in it, obviously, and I made this one for Teddy. Um, and it actually, I think it's called like the hexadaisy or something because the squares, at, the granny squares it uses have um, flowers in and instead I designed my own teddies for my teddy. Can you see? <laughs> He's super cute. Oh. So I designed the teddies for my teddy and um, yeah, we'll come back to that in the plan section. But basically I'm gonna make this one and I'm going to do it in the glitter pink. So the main color will be glitter pink. I'm gonna put some of these granny squares in here to tie it into the blanket and then both will have the name and the name I will make identical on both. Um, so I've done that as a bundle. That's like my first official commission where I've done it like seriously, um, taken a, a deposit up front and whatnot. So yeah. Um, shall I get into the payment now? Or shall I leave that into another section? Um, <clears throat> we will talk money afterwards right so yeah that's one of my current whips I've got the blanket to redo basically um it's not too bad because the deadline is December so we are on the 30th of October today so I got plenty of time should be fine gonna get that done I'm working on another blanket, which is another design. It's my own design. Um, this one is ad gifted, ad sponsored, all of those hashtags, I'm going to put them everywhere. I was gifted this yarn um, by Hobby Yarn. And let me show you one of the tags. It is the Amigo yarn 100% acrylic by hobby and this is um double knit they come in 50 gram balls and it calls for a 4.5 mil hook which is my go-to hook when i'm doing blankets so i feel like it was made to be um this company approached me and their outreach person basically said that they have all these different campaigns and each one has its own design brief and would I be interested? And the first one they sent me like was spot on to, for me to a T. So I had to, I had to jump on this. So I ordered a load of yarn. I did an unboxing. I will link that up above for you. And they sent me a huge amount of yarn. 
when I ordered the yarn, I just assumed that they were 100 gram balls and they were 50 gram balls. So with that in mind, the original blanket that I had thought I would make, I don't think I'll have enough yarn for it. So I was really going backwards and forwards on what I should do. Should I ask them for more yarn? Should I change the design? I've changed the design. I might need to get more yarn. I don't know, but I have got this bag of yarn. So I got cream as the joining colour. I think if I had the time over, I'd have got pink as the joining colour, but I do, I do love a bit of cream. I do, I do. So it's like this off-white. Um, I got purple. I got baby pink, I got turquoise, I got a couple of each colour, some of the colours I got doubled up on. I've got like this mustard yellow, I got this uh, raspberry slash a barbie pink, which just vibes with this colour, look at that. That one is like sea glass green, um, I have got a Tiffany green and i got bright orange ofs i basically ordered my brand colors with a couple of extras to play around with i got a neon coral all of which i have been using so these are all been used i got lilac and i got a lighter yellow more sunshine and I think that's it in terms of colours and the brief is cosy so um, think like log cabin inspired quilts and I just knew straight away like I've designed a couple of blocks I knew exactly what I wanted to do as I said the yarn wasn't quite wasn't quite the vibe in terms of weight so I've altered it I designed one square which is here I'll show you it no, not that one. This one. Do, 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 do. Look. Ah, oh, love it. So I've gone with a star. This star has a name in quilting terms. I'm not sure what it is, but it's like very, you know, like the granny square is used a lot in designs. This star is used a lot in quilting designs. And I decided to go quite bold with the granny squares around it. Um, and then I put on my, I put on my stories and did I do a reel as well? I did a reel, I believe. Basically stating, do I, do I repeat this block across the whole blanket and maybe switch out the colours or do I just switch out the block entirely? And as soon as I went to post it, I knew what I wanted to do. And so I designed whilst Teddy was sleeping on a bit of paper, I designed nine blocks in total. And I started on the second block, um, which was gonna be like log cabin type vibes. Let's make some space. However, this doesn't, is not, is not, you know. Again, I sent this to some of like, my top testers um, and a few others that were like really invested in this design and we decided this wasn't quite right the L's so Louise she said the L's aren't quite working I should do strips Keely said do a cream center and a couple of others were like it's just not quite it like we know what you're going for a post inspo picture I think my baby's home Hello. Is my baby awake? Okay, I'm just finished recording. I'll be down. Basically, it needs a cream center. All of the blocks are going to have a cream center. So this This needs a cream center. Like that automatically looks better and then I'm going to do some of these in strips basically I need to take that apart and do it again I feel like that's a reoccurring thing isn't it so because I needed to take it apart I took a bit of a break from that square and started on another one <laughs> and 
This is the third one, which is such a mess at the moment. Can you see what I'm doing? Can you see it? I will show you one I prepared earlier. Okay, so it is this. This geometric bit, I am making that and I'm using that element in a specific block that I have designed. So it won't look exactly like this, but it will be that geometric bit. And yeah, really, really happy with that. So that's three out of potentially nine blocks. I might reduce it down to six depending on how much yarn I've got at the end of the six i would quite like it to be like a huge blanket though i know if i had just designed a baby blanket i'd have made it so much easier for myself but i wanted it to be like an adult cozy throw lots going on but all beautifully brought together so that is what we're working on and this is living in my little tote bag that i made this is a like hessen jute bag and i made some granny squares and i fixed them onto the front so I might do that as a free pattern for the summer, as like a summer project for people. Would you like to make one? Let me know, let me know, let me know. So that's my main project, other than I'm remaking Teddy's cardigan. Um, I've got a couple of plans for that. I'm thinking maybe a Santa inspired one, maybe the Teddies will be wearing a Santa hat. I'd like to make him a really blue version. I'd like to make, the pattern is really good. However, I want to make one that's a little bit more um, made to measure for Teddy so that it fits him a bit better because he is very tall and very slim. So I'd like it to be less wide around the neck. I'll add more length to it. Rather than having the granny squares at the back here, I'm going to carry on doing that in rows and just put the teddy squares at the front um and i'm probably going to do a little bit of shaping on the sleeves which in the original pattern i think there is some um but i just did them straight and yeah i will put his name on the back again definitely so yeah that's that plan um once my hobby blanket is done then i will be turning my attention to planning my collection for next year and i really need to sit down i'll probably sit down with you and plan all of that out like i've got some ideas of what i want the patterns to be and i've got some ideas of when i'm going to release it and things that i'm going to do differently so i'd really like to map that out so i know what i'm doing when it comes to it and start that from january I'd also like to do another collaboration with Hobby next year. They've, they've always got campaigns going on. I was going to apply for more, but I thought I would do this one, see how I get on, and then apply for more rather than overload myself. And also, um, in terms of plans and updates, my I Heart Granny Square collection, the update for that is going to be launched in two to three weeks time. Once the date has been confirmed, I will put it here for you. And I'm also committed to launching my planners, one of which I have here. I'm going to put these up for pre-order so that anyone that wants to get them can order their planner ready for the new year. I'm also thinking of doing these little notepads purely because i use them almost every day um and i've got a larger notepad i've got like a whole setup so that all is going to be put up for pre-order so yeah i feel excited about everything that is to come i feel excited about everything i'm working on i'm enjoying designing i'm enjoying having granny square projects to work on and knowing that i'm also going to collect some money for them is like an absolute bonus um let me quickly talk about pricing so it was never my intention to set out and have a handmade element for my business i always just wanted to focus on the digital products physical products um, that wasn't handmade because of the time element 
So the way I've made that work for me is these are designs that I'm familiar with. Um, my blankets are my blankets. The baby cardigans do not take very long at all. Um, it's very complimentary to my brand, obviously, because I design them. I am, it is my brand um, and I love to make them. I don't want to be making anything for people like scarves, this, that, the other, that I haven't designed, that I don't enjoy making. I would happily make this blanket a million times over. So I love the thought that there's all these little children out there that are going to grow up snuggling these blankets. Teddy still uses his now and it's over 16 months old. Um, in terms of pricing, I decided to go with set bundles of prices. I don't know if anybody wants to see the documents. Like, I'm more than happy to share them. I can put them on Google Drive, whatever, whatever. Um, I have priced it so that it's worth my while. Like, I know that people have this opinion that handmade goods, there's just no money in it. I don't I don't agree with that if somebody's not willing to pay you to make it then don't make it for them find somebody who is willing to pay so I have priced my arrival blanket and the newborn cardigan at 130 pound as a bundle and to be fair considering the amount of hours that go in like it's not like I'm getting minimum wage for that but I am happy with that as a price point um, if I can do two or three of them a month, then that is a good chunk of my income taken care of. And I can bash out a couple of those blankets a month quite easily. Um, but again, I don't want it to be too much of a chore or too much of a burden. So I am thinking of, for now, I'm happy to, to take commissions because I'm doing it on a very small scale. But I've also been thinking about making some one-off colorways leaving the space for them to be personalized and then doing sort of like a shop update i've been following loads of different accounts and i've seen for quite a while like the way that they run it and i've been inspired by that i'm thinking with the money that i'm getting from this bundle that i will invest that money into yarn i've got loads of yarn for granny squares but not so much the joining colors and that i will make some um more bundles and then I'll list them on like the first of the month or whenever so that people can claim them and then once they're claimed I can personalize for them package them up beautifully send them to them and do the same again for the following month um because then I get a little bit of creative fun like on this one this is entirely my design my choice of colors um my only brief was make it pink and I have done that so I'm enjoying that element. We'll see how it builds and I'm going to put an income report together anyway so you can see what's coming from where. Um, I'd love to make like a turquoise one. I'd love to make another one like Teddy's. Um, yeah. So all I need to do is reach the people that want to purchase them. And, you know, there's so many people out there having babies and so many people love to have these handmade like heirlooms for their children i'll make them for you i have definitely been guilty of undervaluing my services like i didn't even realize people would be willing to pay for these blankets because i'm just so used to being able to make them and i just always gifted them um but brad said something that like revolutionized the way that i think he was like if it's taking you away from teddy it needs to be paying you so don't get me wrong I'm here to help and mentor and all the rest of it but if it's something um quite time intensive or anything where I'm giving a lot of value there needs to be something coming back to me financially so that it's paying me whilst I'm taking time away from Teddy and yeah that really that really hit that really hit different the other thing that I'm striving for is reviews so I currently have 39 five-star reviews on the HGDC um, I Heart Granny Square collection. And so I've updated my Instagram bio with that. And then I was speaking with Georgia because we had a little meetup, speaking with Georgia. And I was like, maybe I should put how many five-star reviews I've got across my entire designs. So that's something that is on my to-do list, um, like finance-wise, um 
one of my big focuses is not so much how many sales I get, but how many reviews I get, because the more reviews I get, the more that people are going to be posting that they love my designs, that, that like, people, the more people post, the more that I can say, look, these designs are fully backed, like, you need them, you need this collection. So I'm focusing on the reviews at the moment. Um, I do feel as well that's something more that I can influence rather than sales. If I'm chasing sales, that could feel a little bit like a hamster wheel. But if I'm um, receiving reviews, like that, you like, can you feel the energy difference? So that's what I'm focusing on. Um, and my other focus financially is going to be the income stream. So pattern sales, I'm going to set myself a goal and we'll go through all of this in the own income report. Um, maybe I'll do one of like what my goal is for the month and then what. I get at the end of the month I could do that um or do I just say it all here like this is all so new um if I say it all here then we can stitch this can't we at the end so I would like to have like three different income sources within HGDC so that I'm not relying on just the one source for so many different reasons um if you're wondering why then I have made some income videos I'll put them up here it's like crochet to cash so my first big chunk of income will be my pattern sales the second one will be my physical product sales so my plan is the third income source is going to be physical um crocheted items so my pattern bundles uh my blanket bundles sorry my blanket bundles and then the fourth income is going to be affiliate slash um youtube adsense i want a mix of all four of those and i realize that i am doing like i'm doing myself out of a trick here because i just don't focus on affiliate income i think i posted an affiliate link once didn't expect anything of it and got 44 pence and then this was like only a month or so ago and I was like hang on a minute that could really add up really quickly with given the amount of followers I have and the things that I'm posting are in our items I use day to day such as um blocking boards or steamers and things like that crochet hooks and they are also items that are used in my patterns such as the hardware for my iconic bag so yeah, they're the four streams that I want to focus on. I'd love to have um, 20 pattern sales and sell two blanket bundles at a very minimum for November. So see how we get on with all of this. So yeah, that is everything that I'm working on for my crochet, everything I'm working on for my income, and everything else in between. Um, I don't feel the need to do a life update because I literally just put a little vlog up, a little bit about where I am with motherhood and finances and business and things. So yeah, I'm gonna say thank you so, so much for um, watching this. Thank you so, so much for joining me here. I'm so close to 5,000 followers on here, subscribers. I need to figure out some sort of giveaway for you all. So yeah. I don't know whether like to do some prizes or to do like a big discount code that's like YouTube specific for my collection or so let me know would you like a YouTube specific discount code would you like some sort of giveaway I don't know what I would do in the giveaway um maybe there's somebody out there that wants to gift giveaway prizes who knows um but yeah thank you for being nearly 5,000 granny square lovers wow we and I will see you in the next vlog. Of course, it goes without saying, if you've enjoyed this vlog, please like it, give it a thumbs up because it does really, really make a difference. Please subscribe so you know when my next videos come out and help me get to that 5,000 mark and the giveaways. And also, do you ever drink warm juice or is that just a weird thing that you've never heard of? Let me know below and I'll see you in the next one.